So you have three different balloons. What's the difference between these explosions? Ah, okay, well, two of the balloons are similar. They have hydrogen as their fuel. But, and one of those has only hydrogen, the other one has oxygen mixed in with it. So the first one with just hydrogen takes a long time to burn. It makes a really big fireball because the fuel has to mix with the oxygen in the air in order to burn. Mm -hmm. In the second case, the oxygen's already on the inside of the balloon. And so it just rips through the balloon and the reaction happens a lot faster. But in, in the third case, the fuel is different. The fuel has a lot more energy. It's acetylene, the gas that they use in welding. And that reaction happens a lot faster and is, is a lot more violent because there's more energy inside each of the individual molecules of the fuel, the acetylene. Hmm. So. so you're in acoustics, you're in chemistry. What are we doing in the same room together? Well, we, we got started because these explosions are important in the classroom. They help teach concepts like combustion and how fast reactions happen, which is called kinetics. But the problem is, is that these are also really, really loud. And we want to make sure that we're taking into account all the hazards associated with not only the explosion, but also the auditory risk. And that's where, that's where Kent comes in. So Dr. Macedoni came over to my office one day and said, asked to borrow a sound level meter. And I had just done that very day in class, this particular uh, demonstration. Oh. And so I realized that the equipment that we needed was beyond what a typical uh, acoustical recording device like a sound level meter could handle. So what's it been like working together? It's been a really fruitful collaboration because now we know how loud these explosions are. And we've been able to take that data and extrapolate back and say, okay, what is an appropriate mix for the classroom? What's, how can we do the demonstration in class and still have it be safe? It's also given a lot of students the opportunity to participate in measurements as, the, as we've started to work on these things and you know, give students experience with setting up microphones and how to record data and things like that. So beyond, uh, you know, beyond the, the science and the knowledge that comes out of it that benefits the public, it also benefits our students directly.